Premier Sadiq Mohammed disclosed this at the sidelines of a meeting with members of the Ghana Electrical Contractors Association in Hall. President of the Ghana National Electrical Engineering Contractors Association insisted the country is prone to major fire outbreaks as a result. When I say that Ghana is sitting on the table, people say, why are you sitting, saying that? I'm privileged. I've been to many places. I've inspected many public bodies. And you find that the quality of work that has been done is very poor. I was recently privileged to be a consultant on one public body. And this contractor got the job directly. He was slammed up. And he forced the electrician to use a very inferior materials. And because this contractor, I mean, knows somebody who always showed him, we ask the client to hold on with his final pay until he replaces him. But as we speak, the guy has been paid. The Electricity Company of Ghana, ECG, blamed Electrical Contractors Association for the increase in illegal connection of power. The Voltai, OT Regional Engineer of ECG, Michael Boateng, warned of severe repercussions for electricians engaged in aiding illegal power connections. Because we have seen that this hotel owner is not an engineer, he is not an electrician, he is not, he doesn't even understand. All he does is to is to lure us into doing what we call illegality for him. If ECG comes across anybody who is connected somehow with this illegal use of electricity, believe me, they will stretch. The Ghana Electrical Engineering Contractors was established in 1948 to help regulate the activities of electrical engineering in the country.